I really don't know what I just watched. I just feel like I watched our offense just collapse in front of my eyes. Y'all need CPR? Cause like, what, what was going on? First half, we looked pretty solid, putting up 10 points, led a nice drive at the end of the second half, and then we just fell flat on our face, scored three points at the end of the game, basically got shut out in the entirety, questionable play calling everywhere. Like, I just don't understand it. This is one of those games I wish I could wrap my head around, but I just can't. Offensively, we're just taking shot after shot after shot. It just doesn't make sense. Marvin Harrison Jr. Also, there's a couple plays where I'm not going to ill excuse you. I mean, you have jump balls. You made a career out of doing this. And I'm not saying we should just continuously take shots at him. And I'm not saying he played a bad game because for three games so far, he has over 200 yards and three touchdowns. But you have to come down with some of these. But like some of them, like Kyler Murray's throwing the ball in double coverage. Like, what are we doing? Some ill-advised throws. Like, why is this your first interception of the season? You were playing fantastic football through three weeks. And for some reason, you throw this ball into double coverage. I don't understand that. I'm not going to excuse that at all. It is absolutely terrible. I don't understand the decision making. That is kind of the whole consensus and the theme for today is questionable decision making by the quarterback, by the head coach. The defense looked terrible in the first half. And then we shut the Lions out in the second and still lost the game. You would have told me we only needed 11 points, 10 to tie in the second half, and we would have been in a great spot, potentially going to overtime or winning the game. I would have said we got 10 easy. We're going to shut them out. I know that. Oh, we got it. But oh, no, we don't. Because Kyler Murray and company fell flat on their freaking face, man. Let's go ahead and dive into this game because it was pretty freaking crazy because David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs just kind of had their way with us. 23 carries for 106 yards and a tutty for Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs, 16 carries, 83 yards. Also had a nice little hook and ladder play from Amon Ross St. Brown. Dan Campbell, you got some big balls, dog. I don't know what you got going on in Detroit, but you got the big balls, my brother. This play design is filthy. I will give you guys credit. And everything that I said in the video came true today. I needed Michael Wilson to have a big game. And guess what? He's the team's leading receiver with 60 plus yards. Nailed that. Obviously, time of possession is going to be a massive, and I mean massive part of every football game. And the Detroit Lions kicked our behind. 36 minutes and 49 seconds to 23 minutes and 11 seconds. Absolutely ridiculous. And then you can't not go without saying that third down efficiency for Detroit, they, they killed us. I mean, the Lions were 50% with six to 12 and the Cardinals were one for nine. 0 for two on fourth down. I just don't really understand it. There was a fourth and seven where, I mean, there's a hook on Trey McBride. You could argue this is pass interference, but I mean, got to come down with these. And then Kyler Murray, I honestly thought he got robbed right here. Like, I mean, I thought he extended and there wasn't enough to overturn this, but there was apparently. I don't know where they see it. Refs, what are we doing? How is this an overturnable call? Let me know down in the comment section below if I'm tweaking. I thought he got this. And speaking of absolutely horrendous, let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Right before the half, the Cardinals had a pick six. Mac Wilson, Jared Goff just throws it up. Mac Wilson, house call. But no, the refs, the zebra corns, they blow it dead. Why are you blowing it dead? First of all, you're supposed to let this thing play out. And I'm pretty sure you could have reviewed it after that. But no, the Cardinals continue to get screwed. And with 201 with the ball clearly hyped, it is an unreviewable play. The Arizona Cardinals cannot get this overturned and got robbed of a freaking pick six. I can't say what I truly want to say because I will get demonetized. But you guys know what I'm thinking. <laughs> We got screwed, and I think if that plays out a little bit different and we actually get that pick six, this game goes a completely different way. But I'm also not going to sit here and completely blame it on the refs, because our offense sucked. Our defense did enough to win this game. That is not a valid excuse anymore. Like, the refs played terrible. They had a terrible officiated game. But I'm not even going to sit here and act like that is the reason we lost this, because that, honestly, after watching the way this game played out, is less than 5% of my worries. Screw the way they called the game. It was awful. The Cardinals offense and Kyler Murray fell flat on their face. We deserved to lose this game. I really don't care. It hurts my heart saying that, but like, it's the truth. Like we couldn't get things going. We we're just taking shot after shot after shot. And like I said, Marvin, you got to come down with some of these, but Kyler, better decision-making. You played a great first two games and started this game on fire. Just keep taking the things underneath. There's no need to force. It's like we wanted to just pick it all up in one play. And that's not how the NFL is always going to work. Like the deep shot will open up. If there's a one-on-one, -on -one, take it. But throwing the ball in double coverage consistently, like that's just not how you win football games. It literally felt like a Madden game. We were just chucking it up. Then you also pair in the fact that the run game was just freaking abysmal, dude. Like James Conner couldn't get things going. James Conner had nine carries for 17 yards, 1.9 on the ground. Kyler Murray was a team's leading rusher. Just absolutely embarrassing performance there. And then our defense was getting gashed all day long in the first half. The run we could not stop. That is very evident. Like David Montgomery would take the ball. He would run for three to four and he would take it an extra four to five, just carrying eight people on his back. The dude is a freight train. Like I was scared of the run game coming into this and I was justifiably so. But let's go ahead and dive into this game, man. David Montgomery in the opening drive of the game just gashed us. Like this Lions offense just came out on 
fire. David Montgomery gets the first six of the day. Then Kyler Murray comes down and he has a fantastic drive with this play with the amazing pocket presence. Like I can't even lie, Kyler in the pocket looks a lot more comfortable. The O-line was blocking their butts off, but that kind of came collapsing down in that second half as well. But Kyler has that. Then he also converted first and 20 with his legs. Like Kyler, ridiculous. And then he finds Marvin Harrison Jr. on the touchdown first of the game. Cardinals tied it up. Then you had Amon Ross St. Brown who scored a touchdown. Then he hits his dog celebration if I could find it because he dogged us. Then you have this hook and ladder play, which again, big balls, Dan Campbell. What are we doing here? Hook and ladder? Ridiculous. Cardinals would find themselves down 20 to 10 at half because Kyler Murray would lead a drive where Matt Prater would get the field goal to end it. 20 to 10 was the score. And uh, yeah, things didn't really go well from here, or at least offensively, because the defense had plays like this, where Dennis Gardick picked off Jared Goff, lines up on the edge, drops back into a hook zone, and baits Goff into the throw, picks it off, ridiculous play, let's go Gardecki. Cardinals got the stop on fourth and one on David Montgomery, that is not easy to do. Dante Stills, you are a son of a gun. Then Dante Stills would get this sack later on to force third down, and we would get the stop. But the Cardinals offense couldn't do anything in the second half. I don't even want to show clips, like I really don't, because there was nothing to show. We Stop, got stopped on fourth down countless times. We couldn't convert third downs. We couldn't take any like underneath plays. Like I don't even know what I'm saying. We refuse to take dink and dunks. We refuse to take methodical, nice, long drives. We were trying to pick it all up on once and we were just bombing it and bombing it and bombing it. And it was abysmal to watch. The Cardinals played awful. The offense let us down. I mean, we scored 13 points. Detroit got shut out in the second half and we lost the game. It's unfortunate, but that's the way things go sometimes. I mean, the 49ers also lost today on a game-winning field goal to the Rams, who the Cardinals beat 41 to freaking 10 the second week of the season. Who saw that coming? So that's what I'm saying. The NFL is unpredictable. And as it stands right now, this is what the NFC West is looking like. Seattle, 3-0. Arizona's sitting in second place with a record of 1-2. The Rams are 1-2. And, and the Niners are also 1-2 on the bottom of the division. The Cardinals have the most points scored throughout every NFC West team, and we rank number three in points allowed. So I don't know. It's very weird to get a gauge on our team, but I'm really not worried. We just have a very tough schedule right now. We just have to keep marching, keep playing. It is an unfortunate way to lose. Like this game, it feels like we shouldn't have lost, but Detroit played their butts off. You have to give them credit where credit's due because although our defense shut down the Lions, the Lions also shut us down. Two things could be true. And then at the end of the day, man, it felt like we were trying to target Terry and Arnold all day long and it just wasn't working out. He was strapping things up. Got to give the kid kudos where kudos is due. That is the guy I wanted the Cardinals to take. We didn't. Then Jackson Barton, our third string, right tackle also went down with an injury. So I don't know who's going to play right tackle next week. Then Justin Jones is also injured. So that's a big loss to the middle of the field for us. The Arizona Cardinals folded in that second half and it is a very tough game to loss because again, it feels like we should have won. Lions fans though, GG's to you guys. You guys advanced to two and one. We dropped to one and two. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below of this game. How do you guys feel about it? What are your guys takeaways? Make sure to let me know. But with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video, man. If you guys are new to the channel and ended up enjoying today's video, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post Arizona Cardinals and NFL related content. So if you're a fan of either of those, this is the perfect channel for you. But like I said, man, that is all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out. Hello.